Hey guys and welcome to The Relations Show. I'm Maddie. And I'm Charlie and we're your hosts for today. Later on Malika will be joining us. We have a lot lined up for you today and we're both very excited for what's in store. That's right, we have blind dates, interviews with Samara couples and even a couples quiz with our very own FMP couple. That's just some of the amazing things we have planned for today. You guys guessed it, today we're going to be covering the topic of relationships. Because some of us really need it. <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? Anyway, let's get started. Earlier this term, we went around school and asked you guys for some of your best pickup lines. We also asked you guys what some of your favourite first impressions of people were. And here's what you guys said. Hi guys, my name is Poppy. Today I'm going to be going around the Brit School and asking all the students here what their best pickup lines are. Line. Hey, feel this. Feel it. Do you know what material that is? It's boyfriend material. But you're a girl. <laughs> Get slick. I'm a cut the. <laughs> Can I have your mum's phone number? Because I just wanted to let her know how amazing you are. Oh, that's kind of cute. My name's My name's Jodie. Oh, that's a nice name. Oh, you like that? You like my phone number too. <laughs> Are you a beaver? Cause damn. Ooh, okay, I that was good. Wise. That was good. Mic drop. Fred, what is your best pickup line? Um, <clears throat> well, I don't really have any, to be honest. I've never really had the need to use them. That's just an excuse, Fred. There's 20 letters in the alphabet, right? <laughs> no, there's 26. Oh, I forgot. U R A Q T. Oh, that was a good that one. Is, that is quite good. Wait, you guys can't add. There's still one left. That's big brain. D. That's big brain shit. And shut up, D. <laughs> you get the D later. <laughs> My name is Dita, and I work in a button factory. I've got a wife and three kids. And one day, Poppy came up to me and said, Dita, do a pickup line. I said, no. Are you a glue stick? Because I want your snap. Ooh. Do you get it? Oh. Oh. I want your snap and I'll give you the light. Oh, Ooh. that's good. That's good. Yeah, that He's going to use that. Made that one up on the spot as well. <laughs> What's your best pickup line? Yo, B. I don't need a pickup line. Boys use pickup lines on me. Period. Period. Is this true? No. <laughs> <laughs> Pick up line. Um, actually, it's not that good. I made it myself though. If you're a Pokemon, I'd Pikachu's you. Ooh. Ooh. Are you Google? Because you're everything I'm searching for. Ooh. That was good. That was the best one we've had so far. Okay. Um, so guess your weight. <laughs> that was great. Okay, so my love for you is like diarrhea. I just can't hold it in. Do you believe in love at first sight or should I walk past you again? Are you like the alphabet because you're A, amazing, you're B, beautiful, you're a caramel darling and you put the D in me? Hi, welcome to Brit Live. This is First Looks where we ask people what their first impressions of a person are. Let's go. <laughs> okay, what is the first thing you notice in a guy or girl? Um, clothes. Smile. I'm gonna say eyes or smile. And that's hard because it depends, really. Like, maybe like the way they walk or something. Yeah. That sounds so <laughs> weird. <but laughs> no, it's not. Like, I don't know, you can tell like by the way like their attitude is by like their walk, walk and stuff. Yeah, so you're more personality than looks. Yeah, definitely. Probably their hair or their eyes. Their hair? Yeah. Cool. Like, your guys' hair colours are like purple and pink, which are really good, by the way, but like, that's the first Thanks. thing I probably noticed about you guys. Thanks. Uh, smile. Hair colour? Well, in a girl, I notice her face and her eyes. Yeah, and her body, body complexion, that's me being honest. The appearance. Yeah, you have to notice that. And um, you have to also notice the personality. Like, you see what I mean? Like, you have to notice what, like, how the girl acts in that car. They're acting a bit trash, though. Yeah, but not, that's They were like really nice, but not very attractive. Is that a deal breaker? No, if they were attractive and they weren't nice to me, that's dead. Like, louder. That's, I, mean, I, would, that's yeah, I would rather be 
not look that nice, then you I are going to trash your behaviour. Banging personality. Yeah. What is the first feature you notice in a guy or girl? <laughs> her back. And I'm joking, I'll take away her personality. Her personality. No, personality. Her, first her, her, notice, the first thing I notice about a, a girl is her eyes. I would, I would say maybe face or like haircut, um, <laughs> smile, like a boy should be smiling, like if you meet a boy and he's just doing a screw face, it's not really like appealing, like I want to I wanna be drawn to like your happiness, I want your happy energy. Um, to be fair, I, I kind of work my way from head to toe, um, so I, I work up to down. I look for, the uh, main thing I look for is like makeup, if she's wearing too much makeup that's so unattractive to me. Um, I say, girls, be natural, do your thing. Can I tell you my favourite pickup line? Go for it. Well, I'm here, so what your other two wishes? <laughs> it, uh, it was interesting, though, to hear what people look for in a person. I mean, for me, it's, it's kind of muscles. You know, I love a muscly guy. OK, I get it. What? I know you've been looking at mine since we started the show. Sure, I have, Charlie. Okay, up next we have a very interesting episode of Blind Dates featuring our very own host, Charlie. So, uh, how do you think your date went? Um, it was, uh, well, let's just see, shall we? So, we are here on Blind Dates. I'm currently trying to give Charlie as much advice as I can before he starts his very first date. So, <laughs> good luck, mate. Hello. Hi. That's me. Charlie. Nice to meet you, Elizabeth. And I'm sorry that you've been dragged into having a date with me. It's okay. But tell me about yourself. Well, um, I did sports school. I study cap. You saying you good? You good? You good? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so, so you are Angelica, and I'm Selon. Nice to meet you. Okay, what strand are you in? Strand. Yeah. See, I'm multi-talented in it. So I could, I'm in theatre, yeah. But if I wanted to be, I could be an art. But if I wanted to be, I could be an FMP. But if I wanted to be, I could be a music tech as well. Okay. And if I wanted to be. A how are you doing, you're right? Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Minnie, what's your name? Joffia. Um, so, yeah, where are you from? Um, down to business. From Bromley. From Bromley? Yeah. I'm a Bromley girl. Is it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> where are you from? So, obviously, um, I'm from Ghana, first of all. Mm -hmm. But obviously, I live in Dulwich. Dulwich? Not, it's not the richest, don't worry. It's like it's fine. borderline. Money Pecum. doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, I, I don't actually know what really cap is. I won't lie. I know I've got a couple of mates that do it. Is it like musical theatre, basically? But like yeah, but we do it to the community. Oh, OK. Do you like musical theatre? Yeah, it's all right. Any, fa any favourite musicals? Wicked. Yeah, fair enough. What, what are you interested in? So, I'm interested in, like, um, filmmaking. Oh. So, like, directing, producing. Join the club. Yeah, join the club. You're really pretty, you know. Can't Thank lie to you. you. Yeah. Compliments. <laughs> what about you? What like, what do you do? I'm an FMP student. OK. With a bit of a... Uh, Camp musical theatre side, I'd probably say, which on a day with the girl is probably not something you should say, but never mind. <laughs> so, where are you from? Uh, nationality or like where I live? Ends, 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 ends. South Norwood. There's some oh. dead ends, you know. There's rats there, I've heard, but it's okay. Because <laughs> I heard that they're chicken. Where you go, is there more in your ends? Yeah. Yeah, pigeon. I've trust me, I've heard it's pigeon meat. Yeah. Well, I'm vegetarian, so. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, that's a bit of a deal breaker. Mm -hmm. But we'll work on that, we'll work on that, innit? We can work on that together. I kinda see, I can see this working. I can see this yes, working. Okay. Your dad has a business? Yes. So what is, what's your dad's business? He's an executive producer, so. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Making money, you know. <laughs> Just so. the way it is. But um, yeah, hopefully I can take over that. Cause he owns like a production company, so. Is it? Right, so you're set. So what's your type? I can't say I have a type. It's mainly like personality, like you've got to be funny and you've got to be passionate about something. If you're not passionate, then there's no point. Interesting. Very interesting. I can say I'm all of those things personally, but you know, 
Let's see where this goes. Ooh. What's your favourite sport? Favourite sport? I used to run, but I don't run anymore. Athletics? I, uh, like short distance, like 100 metre. Okay. I used to be really fast, and then I got asthma, or had asthma, but it got a lot worse. Okay. So if you want someone who can't breathe, then time you go. Okay, cool. So what's shine you in? Uh, FMP. FMP? Why? Uh, I like film. I like filming, kind of obviously, but it's expression, you know. It's like all these different strands merged into this one form of like visual art. And it's like, I think a lot of messages can be like given through art, you mm -hmm. know? Right? Yeah, yeah, you're waffling a little bit, <laughs> but it's okay, it's okay. Like, we can work on that together because that was a bit of a waffle, but it's all right, we'll, we'll work on that. What's your type? Uh, my type is, uh, I quite like uh, geeky kind of people. Mm -hmm. So like, uh, if you're blonde, have glasses and you have blue eyes. That's everything, not me. No, but like, no, 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 no. So a type isn't like, no, guys, <laughs> stop <laughs> off. I'm scared of dogs, though. That's a bit of a sticky one. I have a dog. See, that's another deal breaker. But we'll work on that, innit? We'll work on that. I have a job, but trying to do the acting yeah. stuff. So Where so do you I, work? I work at TK Maxx. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, pay, they pay good, but I just hate that place so much. It's quite that annoying. It's like a charity shop kind of vibe in there. Yeah. I have a track record of dating, like, really like varied people because if your personality is sick then I don't really care. Yeah. What about you? Paisley I shirts and brown hair, yeah? <laughs> I mean, I do. <laughs> okay, what's my type? Um, I don't know. Blonde hair. What colour are your eyes? Blue. Blue eyes. Where are you from? The nationality. Country. Poland and Italy. And like, I prefer if they're from like Poland or Italy, like around those mm -hmm. countries. Okay. See? Pleasure meeting you, though. Yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you too. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. Bye. Thank you very much. It's a bit. It's a bit, it's a bit sticky, this. Yeah, it's a bit awkward. Oh, I've got a dentist appointment soon, so okay. we're going to math wrap this up, but it's yeah. okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, cool. She's in love with me. I promise you, she's in love with me. Listen, there was a few deal breakers, but I can fix that. I can fix that. Because look, look, look at me. Look at me. I'm six foot, but it's alright. Don't don't get down on my feet. I think she loves me. Look at me. No. <laughs> it was just like very awkward. It was just like two ends of a point, just not the sort of opposite. Yeah, entirely. How do you think the date went? I think it went really well. Um, he's a really nice boy, and he complimented me, and they always were in my heart. But yeah. That was a good date, and was what, yeah. Did you feel any connection between you two? Um, the date went well, yes. Uh, she's a really nice person. Yeah, um, yeah, it went really well. Oh. So how do you think your date went? Uh, I think, yeah, it went all right. I think uh, I came off cool and uh, a bit quite confident, I think. I think uh, if she doesn't propose to me in the next two weeks, I'm going to be quite, quite surprised. So sorry Charlie's date couldn't make it, she's now currently suffering with a very, very harsh case of PTSD. We're just going to send uh, right back to the studio now. Hey guys, I'm Malika. welcome back to the show and a massive welcome to Oddy and Poppy. So, the first quick question we're going to ask you is how long have you guys been dating? We've been dating about three months now. Okay. And I bet you guys are wondering why you're positioned like this. Before I tell you, this is a question we ask all our guests that come on the show. Pineapple and pizza, yes or no? Oh, no way. No, get rid of it. I would have said yes, but... Now you guys are ready to play the couple's quiz. Here are the rules. You two will sit back to back. I'm going to read out a set of traits, and the person who you think has these traits will be represented by the ping pong bats. Poppy is the red side, and Ollie is the blue side. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, let's begin. The first question is, who is the most attractive? <laughs> sad, isn't it? It's sad, yeah. We're off to a good start. Who wears the trousers? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> to be fair, I'm wearing tracksuits. Right. That, that, that is outrageous, anyway. <laughs> Oh, this is a juicy question. Who's most likely to cheat? 
let's see if you can answer this. Ooh. I mean, if I said myself, what's going to happen? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 no, makes that sense. makes sense, yeah. Who's the better kisser? <laughs> okay, how do you know? No way. <laughs> he starts the most arguments. We don't argue, so. No. I mean, got that wrong. You're not doing well, guys. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> this is the second card. Let's hope you can Yo. do that. <laughs> Who is the funniest? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Okay. This is the this is the card. This is the one we do well in. This is this is the one you do well in. Who said I love you first? Yeah. Oh. Easy question. Easy question. <laughs> Who is the better singer? Regretfully, yes. Who yeah. swears the most? <laughs> There's <laughs> only one. <laughs> You're picking it back up. He has to have the last word. Ooh. What does that mean? Oh, my God. Getting the last word. <laughs> Who made the first move in the relationship? Ooh. Um, gonna put it on okay, you got there, you got there, you got there. About to say. Now, this is the last question. Okay. Who is the most stubborn? Wait. You ended on a good one, you ended well, you ended well. Oh my God. So, your points for this round is seven out of 13. How do you feel oh, about that? That's not so great. I think Some that's, that's those... good. Some of those, like, if we said each other, then... Exactly. If you said each other, then, that yeah, that'd be very awkward. weird. Yeah, so... <laughs> okay, then. Thanks for all the last, guys. I'm Thank definitely you. starting to feel more informed about relationships now. And I hope you've been taking notes so you won't be alone at home watching Netflix on the 14th of February. <laughs> Up next are some interviews with some married couples. Hope you guys enjoy. When did you get married? The 8th of August, 1998. We got married on the 28th of August, 1993. Where did you guys go on your honeymoon? We went to the Bahamas. And we went to Malta, uh, Bojiba. What is the secret to a long-lasting marriage? Communication. <laughs> Why did you guys sit there in silence before you said um, Friendship. I think if you're Friendship and the best of friends. And good communication as well. Yeah. You have to be really good friends because romance and passion, you know, it, 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 it goes up and down, doesn't it? Yeah. It and goes phases. And I think you have to communicate a lot of things and just keep talking. So yes. yeah. I would say the secret to a long lasting marriage is laughter. You have to be able to laugh. Do you think marriage is seen as outdated? I don't think marriage is outdated. I think it's a choice and it's a commitment of love. I don't necessarily think religion should come into it. It's just something, if you love someone, you get married. Yeah, some people think it is, but I don't think it's outdated because some people think, yeah, marriage is a piece of paper, yeah? It's a piece of paper, tear it up. What is this then? Okay, so there's no marriage. No, I think people are just scared of commitment, okay? Because marriage is more than just a piece of paper. Yeah. It's, it's a commitment to each other. Favourite thing your partner has done for you? My favourite thing my husband has done for me is help create our three children. Lots of things he's done for me. But definitely my love language, so I'd say acts of service and um, quality time. But I do love a good back scratch and he's really good at scratching my back. Because I got a back knee, he's really good at scratching my back. For me, I think Nikki's done lots of good things for me, but um, uh, I think one of the, the experience that was blowing me away was on my 40th birthday, um, the driving experience, Lamborghini driving experience. What's one thing your partner does to annoy you? The biggest thing my husband does that annoys me is in the middle of the night when he looks at his phone and it just lights up the whole bedroom and yeah, wakes me up, that drives me nuts. What is one annoying thing your partner does? Mm. 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 
No lots. <laughs> I hate when he doesn't listen to me when he's distracted by his phone or something and I'm like, I'm talking to you. One thing I, uh, I don't like is when um, she sometimes on repeat asks me so something over and over again, even though I said I'm going to do it. So that's annoying. What is one thing your partner does that you love? I think I love when she's being affection, affectionate to me. There's many, many things that I love about him. Um, but definitely when he, um, he's really funny. I like his sense of humour and I love that when he's, see I can't help myself, um, you know, loving on me. Even when I'm in a bad mood, he would just push and he just keeps doing that, so. The best thing he does is make me laugh because he's very silly and I like that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> That was so sweet and the advice they gave was really interesting. I love seeing long lasting relationships. <laughs> yeah, me too. And they both lasted way longer than my gym membership. <laughs> so, Charlie, you know my type. What's yours? Well, I kind of like, you know, Scottish people who sing and are quite small and curly hair. and Oh, they have to be old as well. That sounds a lot like Susan Boyle. <laughs> Uh, well, thank you so much for watching and tuning in today, guys. Sadly, that, that's all we have time for. Bye from everyone in the studio. Malika, myself and... Charlie and Susan. Uh, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>